very nice. Yeah. Another one or? Are you, are, no, no. Uh, maybe maybe later. All right, all right. Well. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but we still need to shoot something. And I'm so tipsy in so many other scenes that I just <laughs> I like I don't need to care about my reputation. Okay. A bit. You may have guessed by now, we Czechs like to drink. It's time to check out the Czech nation drink, Slivovica, a plum brandy. A two-hour drive from Prague, I visited the family-run distillery Palina Benátky in northern Bohemia. This small distillery is located in the midst of apple and plum orchards. Locals can bring their own fruit and turn it into delicious booze. They also produce their own fresh apple juice. Hello. Katya, I brought some apples with me. Can we make apple juice from them? Of course. So this is my dad, Jan Kotoc. Hello. It's me. And now we are at the washing machine. Now the uh, apples have been cut it and they need to be pressed now. I have a thing for aprons. It's a traditional way how you make the apple juice, right? Yeah, that's the most original way you can do because it's only through the mechanical pressure. We don't add anything, no enzymes or uh, nothing else, no chemi uh, chemistry, only the apples comes out. It's so traditional that no one even bothers to call it cold pressed juice, but it is cold pressed juice. Uh, actually yes, but for us it's like the normal way. There is so much hype about cold pressed juice these days. Like everybody has the urge to mention bio, organic, in every sentence, but here is something so normal that you don't even think about it like that. I believe there is nothing better than cloudy apple juice. It's my most favorite juice in the whole world, seriously. Yeah, it's really delicious. Wow, it's like raw apple pie. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it really has no taste. The foresters and the hunters pick it up from us and they feed the animals in the winter. Making apple juice was interesting and delicious, but I was here for the hard stuff. It was time for the main event, making Slivovice. Here we have a huge, huge tank full of plums that are pickled for three months and now they are ready to turn into Slivovice. Now we can see how it's missing and missing and going through the tube all over. It came into the big tank and you can see the plums now here in this little window. So now if you turn it down, the plums from up will fall down. Don't you say what Okay. Tip of oil. Proč jsi tam přidával? Kvůli pění, aby nepěnila, nepěnil ten uh, a nešly nám vlastně potom švěstky a štěstí po ty koleny. OK, let's make some slivo. So the process is done, but the slivovice is still too much percent. How many percent? Now it's so about 70%. Okay. You want to make it uh, like 50, so uh, we need to put there some distillated water. That's just behind the corner. Ah, huge pot of slivo. <laughs> slivo with 70% ABV. <laughs> Oh yeah, comes. It's like a speedboat in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we're gonna mix 24 liters of Sligo with 10 liters of demineralized water because the regular tap water has minerals in it and it makes something like snowflakes in Sligo and that's not nice. Now I'll give a try to soft 50% uh, ABV Sligo as well. Sligo. That's the final, final, final part of the process. Pour it into traditional bottle. After a few too many slivos, I was in dire need of drunk food. In the old town of Prague, I visited Maso Akobleha, which means meat and donut. Exactly what I need at a time like this. Here, we learn how to make sausages with the chef work. Cheers. Cheers. I'm a worker. Normally, I'm the bottom of the kitchen and I'm not a showman. What we're going to make now is like a, a breakfast sausage. Pork meat as half of the belly and half of the shoulder. Uh, we'll put in some, uh, some fresh herbs, some fresh rosemary, some fresh thyme and some garlic. Oh yeah, that, that will really help the hangover. We're using happy meat from happy pigs. Okay, um, were they drinking slivo because <laughs> before they were slaughtered? Yeah, they were in the party oh on, on the fields, not locked up in a pen, having a good time. Can't drink the wine. Cheers. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Wine for me, because after so many shots of slivo, you just need to splash it with something, yeah, with a soft drink. Okay, let's mix it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm happy now. Who needs slivo when you make, can make sausages? So relaxing. Shake the pepper. Sure. Shake, the, okay. shake the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's my sausage. Let's do some sausages. Okay. Let's call the things with real names. We have here a pig intestines. Yeah. Do you say it intestines? Intestine. Intestine. It's a shame. Yeah. I watch uh, TV shows about doctors all the time and now I don't <laughs> even know how to say intestine. <laughs> okay, slide it over the end of the nozzle. Okay. okay. Slide it over the nozzle. Yeah. Uh -huh. And bring it all the way back. I'm still trying to think about like any anything. That it would remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure there is no hole in the distance. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Let's be serious for a while. Using in intestine. <laughs> intestine is very traditional, but also the most tasty way how to make a sausage. Exactly. Well, you can go now. Yeah. Slowly, 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 slowly. It's sleazy in the nice way as a raw sausage should be. And then we go here, we go this one here. Sausages. sausage is a girl's best friend. <laughs> I'm so drunk. I really am. Like from now on, I really believe it. It was fun making sausage with you, Warwick. Cheers. Cheers. Five years. Can I have one kobleha now, please? You sure can. Oh, wow. I have to say, I really love donuts. Koblehas. What I like about the one with custard is that it looks like a pimple <laughs> before you burst it. It's, isn't it funny? <laughs> it's very tasty, right? <laughs> Look at that. It's like one to one, the dough to the filling. The night was young, I was still hungry and a bit drunk. So naturally, I decided it was time for a burger. American expat Dean opened the tavern three years ago and continues to make the best burgers in the city. 
This is some salt made slivo I brought for you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Cheers. 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 Bye. 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 That's good. That's very nice. Shall we have a look at the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go in the back. I'll get the slivo just in case. Yeah. Just in case. Woo! That's Jimmy. You're reading my mind. Oh, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, it's like a top. I call it topless apron. <laughs> okay. I want to do a bon mi sandwich, which is a Vietnamese sandwich. Okay. Um, it has a French history because of the French colonialism that occurred in, in Vietnam. I know it's awesome. like pork in your baguette. Yeah, it's exactly. It's pork in a baguette. But we do a little different uh, twist on it, where we add a, a barbecue flavoring with slivovitsa. Here is some uh, homemade bacon, pork belly. This is a guy to Bohemia. Okay. And I'm standing with an American expat at his burger place making a Vietnamese sandwich. So I, <laughs> I think it needs an explanation first. The burger concept here is American style burgers, like street burgers, maybe like what McDonald's used to be in the 50s. Uh, thin patty, etc. And we try to source as much stuff as possible. I mean, all the proteins, all the meats and everything, all check. We try to do the best we can with the local ingredients, and that's why it's same but different. And they do a democratic system. Like, I don't hire people and I don't fire people. They all vote. So they're an incredibly tight, family-orientated team. They, they hang out together constantly. Everybody goes after work. It's really a great vibe. This is Ivan. Ivan, yeah, more... He's my right-hand man. You see everybody else is kind of young. Uh, so he mentors them about their sexual issues and other, other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never smoked a cigarette or pot his whole life, but six months ago he discovered marijuana. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we have our 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 uh, our pork pate, and I'm just going to heat it up on the grill real quick. So if you want to grab those buns and put mayonnaise on the tops and the bottoms of them, that would be rock and roll. I'm more into techno. Really? Yeah, I love techno. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is rock and roll. I don't know what techno is. Proper. Yeah. Cock rock. There you go. Cock rock. Cock rock. We want cock rock. Whenever you say the word cock rock here, it's like instant. Cock rock! So our barbecue sauce we make here, we make it with Slivovitsa. Barbecue! Oh, let me do the last one then. That's a crazy kunda. All this rock and roll, isn't it? It's cock rock. One woman with three vaginas. It's like this myth. It's a Czech myth, right? Yeah. Like it's a it's the dream of every man, or not? Okay. So we're gonna do these dilled carrot strings. And then our last step here. This is our pulled pork. It is fucking hot. Barbecue, barbecue, made from the slivovitsa. So we're going to go in the back every Friday night, Saturday night before the busy nights. Ivan started this tradition where he brings his uh, homemade slivovitsa. Slivovitsa z přichutí, z přichutí Becherovky. Becherovka is a strong and bittersweet Czech herbal spirit that tastes a little like honey. Look at that! Slivo 
with the Herobka yeah, flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Just a mantle. Yummy. Tak, ještě jedno do druhé nohy, jo? Jo? Jo, ještě jedna. Ej! Tak čo? Ej! There you go, rock and roll. Done. I'm so done. <laughs>